Hey, what's up guys? So I bought the Port Explorer smartwatch and I returned it as well. And hopefully the reason I returned it is something to do just with my unit and not all the units, but I'll get to why later. But before we begin, if you do enjoy watching my videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do enjoy what you see, please smash that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. And after watching this review, if you do decide to pick this watch up for yourself, please use the link given in the description below. All right, so with that said, what do we get in the box? So when you buy the Boat Explorer smartwatch, you get the smartwatch itself. I've gone with the strap, which has the really deep blue color with orange stripe at the center. I think it looks really trendy. Apart from that, you get the magnetic charger and the manual, which I do suggest you give a good read and the rest doesn't matter. Now the build is something which is going to surprise you from the start and not in the good way. So you actually get what you pay for. So when you pay, Two triple nine or three thousand rupees for this you get something which is made of plastic it feels really light and flimsy it doesn't have that heft factor that gives it a premium feel so you it just feels kind of like a toy so what specs are there that really matter so it has a number of features but i'm going to give you the ones that really matter the rest you can obviously check out from both's website or from flipkart the ones that matter it's got inbuilt GPS. So if you are starting a workout where you're running outside, walking outside, it can track accurately where you've been, the distance you've walked, the calories you've burnt, and the sorts. So it's got some uh, preloaded sport modes like cricket, swimming, indoor walk, outdoor walk, outdoor run. But it does miss out on some more essential ones like weightlifting and maybe yoga or traditional um, maybe some aerobics, something like that. There is a lack of choice in that sense. So starting a GPS based workout is easy. So you go into any of the preloaded workouts and when you start, it's going to first track your location. And this takes some time. It is considerably faster if you're standing outside on the road. Uh, it's easier for it to track. And once it's done, then you can start your workout and it's going to track you. But I had a very unfortunate uh, incident with the watch when I did my first or tried my first uh, GPS based workout. I'll get to that later. And you do need the companion app, which is the Pro Gear app. So you can just uh, scan the QR code from the manual and you can get it on your App Store or Play Store, depending on your device. And this app is essential because you have to put in some details about yourself, like your gender, your height, your weight. And based on that, you'll get a more or less accurate readout of how many calories you've burned throughout the day. And you can also customize a number of things on your watch using this app, without which it's not possible. It does give you smart notifications. Now, they call it smart. I call it very basic notifications. So when you get a notification from your phone, say a WhatsApp message or, or, or say a, a tweet or something, it'll just vibrate and relay that, but it does not support any emojis. So if someone sends you an emoji via WhatsApp, it's gonna show you nothing. So very basic. So it's just kind of an alert as to something has arrived on your phone and you can check it. When you get a phone call, there's no way for you to answer or end that. So there's nothing you can really do apart from dismissing the notification that's arrived. So it's kind of useful, but not uh, really helpful in that sense. Now the screen is a 1.1 inch screen, I think, and it is uh, average at best. It's moderately bright. The touch operation is more or less smooth but it doesn't obviously feel like a very high quality display because it isn't. Now, uh, you can even have different watch faces which you can customize from the app and you can even set a wallpaper uh, or a photo from your phone. You can import that to your watch and set that as a wallpaper like you see now. The unfortunate incident which happened with me was that I want, uh, once took it out to go on an outside walk and because I wanted to keep track of how accurate this is, I wore the watch that I always wear uh, that I'm wearing for the past two years is my Apple Watch Series 5, which is by far the best smartwatch that I've ever owned. And it really helps me uh, keep myself active and uh, get or reach my goals. 
So I wanted to see as a reference how accurate the GPS of the Boat Explorer smartwatch is. So I did take it out and um, I did set it up and uh, even let it track my position. But as soon as I was going to start my GPS based workout, I was go going to go for an outside walk, the screen, the display of the Explorer smartwatch froze. So it was not responding at all. So that completely ruined two things, obviously the workout and the factor of dependability on the watch. So if this happens, if I'm on a workout and if I'm really, really wanting to get something done and if it feels on me, then it's useless. And it was exactly useless. So I went on the walk and I was wearing my Apple watch on my left hand and on the right hand, I had the Boat Explorer smartwatch. The Apple watch obviously tracked everything A-OK. -okay. Now, while I was walking, I think at around two, 2.5 kilometers or so, the watch has automatic workout detection for outdoor run and outdoor walk. So suddenly it detected that I was walking and I was happy that I could finally track. But the display was not, the touch was not responding. So I, it asked me, are you walking? And you can, you can just select yes or no, like a tick and a cross. So each time I kept pressing the tick because yes, I am walking, the touch was, wasn't responding. So again, it was useless. So my workout was ruined. And because I bought this with my own money, I returned it because the essential thing, if the, it's a touchscreen watch and if the touch is not working and if I'm not being able to track a workout for what I've actually got this, then it's useless. So I am sure this is just my unit. It's not gonna happen with all units, but yeah, it's something you should be aware of. And plus when you pay 3000 rupees, it's not less by any means, but compared to an Apple watch, it is a fraction of a fraction of the cost. But there is a reason the Apple watch is the Apple watch and the best smartwatch in the world. Now, uh, the continuous heart rate tracking, that was more or less accurate. Again, I checked it with my Apple watch. So both of them, uh, had the same heartbeat rating. Um, and I think there was a difference of four or five BPM, but more or less it was the same. But I really wanted to try out the GPS, which I couldn't. Now you can even uh, control your smartphone's uh, music player with this. So play, pause, next track and volume control, but you can't see any album art there. And uh, it gives, they claim to give you seven day of battery life, depending on your usage. But I would say realistically, you would get around three, three and a half days of continuous battery life. And you have to keep certain notifications off. If it's continuously monitoring your heart rate, if you're wearing it when you're going to sleep, then probably the battery is gonna fall because it keeps tracking. So I would say that this is, uh, if you don't want to spend something more than this, as a basic, basic smartwatch, which has GPS and which can track your workouts when it works perfectly. It is not a bad investment, but if you're really serious and if you do have the budget, then obviously you know that you should go for something like a Galaxy Smartwatch Active or an Apple Watch, provided you have the budget and the supporting phone for that. So that more or less covers what I wanted to say about the Boat Explorer Smartwatch. And I wish I could give you more in-depth review, but unfortunately, like I said, my unit did not function, so I couldn't. But all in all, I would say that, again, that was just a fault with my unit, I'm pretty sure. If you do get it, make, I mean, just keep the mindset that it's not a super premium smartwatch, not something super rugged as well. It's really light and it can track the number of steps you walk, the calories you've burnt, and because it has GPS, it can even track uh, your outdoor walks and runs. So that is good. It's handy and it's going to be as useful and as active as you are. So if it's something that's going to push you to be more healthy and definitely get it. Anyway, guys, that's been my opinion of the Boat Explorer smartwatch. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. It really helps these videos and the channel grow. And if you are on a roll to help me out, then please also subscribe to the channel. And if you do decide to get the Boat Explorer smartwatch, please use the link given in the description below to make your purchase. As always, it won't cost you anything extra, but it will help me run this channel and produce more quality content like this just for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.